Hello, welcome to part 46 of this Ruby on Rails Airbnb clone series. And in last video, we had set up our uh, we had set up our models, right? So let me check. Yeah, there was one issue with these models, which was uh, in in each and every case, models were same, uh, even though we had created separate code. And the reason for that was that <clears throat> let me check we uh, we had same ids right this is one of the models and the other one should be in reviews or it should be in in, in what amenities where are amenities this is one of the model which is definitely not getting displayed. Let me check. Refresh. Inspect. This is one model. Yes. And second one is this one. Right. So both the models have same ID and that's why uh, it is just triggering basically opening the first model that it sees and that's why we are able to see this only. So we will have to fix this but before we do that i think we will need some plan here otherwise this code can get really confusing so for that let me try out something i'm not fully sure if the plan will work or not but let's try let's try first oh okay sorry not this tldraw dev i think this not the dev tldraw.com I cleared all my cache and cookies and history that's why I'm unable to find the correct link draw this one yeah so this let, let's create our case first this is first case uh, let me let me clear it. yeah where we have amenities okay this is our first model that we want to show amenities model right similar to that we have reviews model and similar to that let's do another one which is let's say description for now okay now the issue with this is that <clears throat> for all these three we need Three separate models but we won't create three separate models instead we will create one single model and we will show different content which we have already controlled right uh, we can do that using if we go to model we are showing different content so that's fine but this model id should be different right so <coughs> what we'll do is we'll create a model here Uh, we'll write it as base model and we'll create separate IDs for them. So let's do this. Oh, why does it get changed? ID 1 for example, I'm just mentioning it for now. ID 2, obviously we won't name it ID 1 and ID 2 but this is just for keeping it unique okay now for this base model we have to call <clears throat> there should be three separate buttons also like show all amenities is one of the buttons uh, show all reviews is another button right so let's create this also this is our main page okay sorry button one button two or let's write it as show description even though the spelling is incorrect that's fine show all amenities i can show you the code right now focus on that uh, fix issues as we move on 
uh, but i think we should create a plan even if it is, doesn't work let's create a plan and then work on it and then fix our plan accordingly show all amenities show all reviews these are three different buttons right and from them we want to open okay no worries sorry open this base model and this base model we can open via model controller dot js using that we can open it right if you remember from our code we can go to our model controller if we use the show we can definitely open our model <coughs> but from these three if we call model controller directly it might get it might not be the cleanest code in terms of separation of concerns so what we will do is we will create three more models it might not be optimized for now but uh, at least it will be safer to keep in terms of cleaning code so let's create one description model controller or maybe just description model description controller okay similar to this we'll create amenities controller also so that we can use it not just for showing the model but if we need something else we can do that also so what we will do is this is how it should work uh, let me use it like this control a I lock all this using toggle lock. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me create these arrows. So from show description, we'll catch the trigger uh, that it has been clicked and we'll send it to our description controller. From description controller, we'll trigger our model controller. Okay. And from our model controller, we'll open the base controller and from base controller will show description sorry this is one second sorry from our show all amenities will call the amenities controller using amenities controller this is a javascript file from that we will call another javascript file or its model it can be anything actually we'll see we'll see let's try this out yeah i i hope this basic idea makes sense that all the control all the buttons will have will go through their own controller from that controller we are sending uh, our sort of click action to this central model slash controller either this model or the controller and from that we will route it to whatever content we have to show okay so let's try this out what is the current code i don't know but i know one thing i don't need these two methods actually what we can do is we can directly use toggle sorry toggle and we'll write toggle model Let's get rid of this. Let's copy this wherever we have used model show. We'll use toggle model. Toggle model. For now, it might not be the correct code, but at least. And wherever we have used model hide, we'll use this. Let's refresh, refresh. At least it should work like before, right? Not working, not working. Why is it not working? We haven't saved this code. Refresh. It's working now. Great. But our first plan of action is that we want to, whatever click action is happening, we want to send it to our particular model. So let's focus on the amenities only. So let's go to, let's create amenities controller. 
new file amenities controller.js let's copy this paste this <coughs> and console.log amenities connected and we will have to connect it in our amenities right so for that let's go to amenities yeah, that was the issue that we are connecting our model to amenities, which was not looking clean to me. So that's why we'll, we'll use amenities, which is our model name here. Uh, amenities controller, sorry. Yeah, amenities controller. And in that, we can set this later on. Let's, let's not do that. let's see first if it is connected inspect console refresh not connected why is it not connected amenities controller data controller a m e n i e this is a very common typo that i have been doing amenities connected so this has been connected now we can get the click action for that data action click amenities hash toggle amenities model because I don't want to name it amenities okay once we click this now we have to show our amenities model right so for that we, we have done this part now we have to send this information to our controller or the base model let me see which one would be a better option so if we call this one i think sending it connecting both the javascript code directly won't be the best way let's go to our model we have this div we have this I'm just thinking where should we put it <clears throat> I can get the model instance or the ID let me think this through we can get the ID Um, I have lost my train of thoughts. Let me check this again. So from toggle, uh, okay. So from amenities model, not the model. This is incorrect. Uh, where were we? From amenities, we have sent this to amenities controller. And now from here, we want to trigger our amenities, uh, show our amenities model, which we can do using this model. So basically we have to connect our amenities controller to our model. How can we do that? We can maybe click on it. We can then, yeah, we can click on one of these items. We can create a fake div here and click on that item. From that, yeah, from that, we can catch the that click in our model controller. And once we catch that click, we can toggle it. So let's try it out. Should I create a separate div for this? I'm just thinking if I should keep it here or not. Actually not. Let's not keep it here. Div slash div class hidden and ID for now let's write it as model fake id we want to click this whenever this one get click now we want to call data action whenever this 
will get called we can go to this data action right and in this let's capture this click and open our model show what is this function toggle model yeah so whenever this item will get clicked we can toggle our model and when will this item get clicked we can do this in our amenities for now I, I'll, I'll fix this later on so document dot get element by id dot click let's see if this will work or not yes it worked and it should work for reviews also yes it is working actually for re reviews and amenities i will have to break this one first this was the issue no this was not the issue this is working correctly but for reviews it was working because of some other code which is this one instead of this let me write toggle amenities model or let's get rid of this completely refresh review should not work right now reviews is not working so let's focus on the amenities only which we have done <laughs> which we have we are done with right now so what we will do is this id will still be a problem right uh, because if you will use that same fake model id which we have here uh, if we click on amenities it should work exclusively for amenities and not for controller so we will have to create unique ids for each one right uh, if you remember we had similar problem earlier so what we will do is we will send a unique id in this model we can do that wherever we are rendering this model which we are doing it in our amenities so let's send model trigger id i know it can be it can get confusing but i'm trying to execute the plan and we'll write it as amenities yes and now let's go to our model dot html file and we can make all these unique all these ids can become unique i'm not sure if we need to make all of these unique but for now that's the best best we can do let's get rid of this amenities model trigger id we had named it as model trigger id so let's use this only model trigger id let's go to our model let's use model trigger id and in here also let's use model trigger id and from amenities we already know this is our model trigger id so we can use that in our amenities controller also and now refresh something is wrong model trigger id gap there is some sort of gap here so let's go to our model refresh undefined local variable model trigger id is not defined in which one it is not defined app shared model line to raise this 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 i think it's it's because we are using it in reviews also so reviews model trigger id and reviews let's refresh yeah let's check for amenities click amenities connected promise properties of null okay no worries we have our amenities we clicked on this amenities which is in this which should toggle our model let's go to our toggle okay got it in toggle model it so basically okay let me explain this with, with, with this problem so we we are understood that we are unable to click it right uh, we are getting the click action and it is increasing the error so how i started debugging is that i know the path of how i, how I have set this up the click happens in the button right so let's start with the button part in this we have the action 
which we'll again call the toggle amenities model. So let's go to that. In that, we have this amenities, which will get clicked. So let's go to our model. In this, we, this is our amenities. In this, we are opening toggle model. So let's go to that. Okay. And by the way, you can console log and cross verify that we are at correct location. Toggle model, sorry, copy. I'll just do this. Refresh, sorry, not this one, refresh. And you can see toggle model, toggle model, toggle model. So that's why this path, creating this map uh, in our TL draw was important that we should always know which route we are taking, right? So let's get rid of this. And the problem I have, I have understood, we are using model wrapper ID here, which does not exist. Instead, what exists is a model trigger ID. So we have clicked on this item. We can get the instance of this, which is this dot element. We, we have got the instance of this div. And now from that, we can get the ID this dot element dot id const id const console dot log for now i'm just doing it quickly this is not the cleanest way but yeah it's it's still not for mine so let's see if we have we can capture the id or not and model wrapper ids it is working so let's get rid of this and let's use this id for this we will have to use javascript interpolation but instead of id what i'll name is this model trigger id so that you can understand that it is actually exactly same model trigger model dash variable name dash wrapper model dash element name dash wrapper so now let's refresh click again it is not working that's great amenities is connected cannot read properties of null class list this 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 console.log refresh click we are clicking at correct item cannot read properties of null class list okay no worries let's do one thing let's go to this wrapper which is model trigger id i think we will have to pass this id from here which we are doing model trigger id model trigger id refresh let's inspect this model amenities wrapper controller model this 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 we have a hidden ids amenities model toggle model and instead of content Let's write hello world refresh. This is also not an is not an issue. Let's refresh this. Cannot read properties of this. This, this. let's click on this. L transition class list hidden. We are getting this element.
toggle toggle model toggle 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 let's log this also click wrapper is null got it document dot cat element by id model dash either this id is not matching or something is wrong here model wrapper model trigger id we have this id model trigger id model amenities wrapper model amenities wrapper and this is also model amenities okay my mistake this dot element dot model trigger id model trigger id the value of model trigger id is already How is this happening? We are setting this model trigger ID from our amenities. Amenities, model trigger ID, model trigger ID. It should be like this only. Model amenities, amenities. So now, whenever we are getting this click action, which is toggle model, toggle model. We are, we are getting the ID, we are getting this ID. That's the issue. So what we will do is, we will change this. If you, if you see this error, we are getting model trigger ID as this, and then we are appending model and wrapper to this, which is like model dash model amenities wrapper dash wrapper. And that's why we are unable to find the correct wrapper. It is correct element, it is null. Uh, we can fix this by doing this let me show it to you first refresh click now you can see that we are at least getting the object right uh, but again this click is happening at the wrong place so now i'll keep this one we don't we do need this wrapper but instead what i'll do is i'll add a data model trigger id and in that I'll set this as model trigger ID and instead of getting from the this element ID I'll use this data set but that should lead to same thing no it's fine it's fine dot data set dot model trigger id and the value of this should be amenities that's it no model dash amenities dash wrapper let's refresh click you see i i hope you have understood this earlier this was model amenities wrapper because of which this was creating an issue so now it does work let's fix the close action also so for that let me check where we have mentioned it so we can go to our amenities model check our code in that we are directly calling the model toggle model that's fine that's fine so i'll copy this entire thing go to reviews uh, sorry reviews model paste this and now you will notice how easy it can get when we when we have written the correct code let's get rid of this and instead write uh, 
reviews that's it just to show that it is working uh, i think if this works i will i will stop the video yeah so let's see if this works so what all things we have to do we have passed the reviews id we have done this we will have to set up the controller so for that i will copy this amenities controller paste it rename this to reviews controller dot js and in that i will write connected to reviews reviews let's close this let's close this go to reviews data controller reviews and if we have a look at our amenities also the data controller was amenities we have to set this action item also so let's go to reviews data action click reviews toggle reviews model let's go to our reviews controller toggle reviews model anything else if we go to our model we are using this trigger id we are not dependent on amenities in any way and if we go to our model in this also we are not dependent on amenities anyway so it should work directly refresh click this is working click this is also working third last thing which is i am doing this so that we can do it from scratch and you can understand why this entire thing was easy let's do it for description first we have to create a controller and connect our button to controller so let's create a controller for that i'll just copy this paste rename to description controller and in that i'll get rid of this now use description d s c r i p t i n d s c r i description and let's remove this from here also let's remove this from here also okay so we have set up this code now we have to connect it with our show more button in disc for description also so for that we'll go to let's get rid of this model we don't we'll set this up from scratch we can go to show in that <coughs> where do we have our description this one and we have our show more button somewhere show more is here right so we will we will add our model how can we connect our description model we can mention data data controller the name of our controller which is description in that whenever action takes place which action click action we want to go to this description model and in that we want to toggle description model just for safety i'll copy this and paste this so at this point whenever this will get clicked we have reached here okay but we want a description model also uh we want to render it also how can we render it we'll go to show in this we'll write we can write it here also yeah because if there is no show more why do, why would we want a model m percent equals to render what do we want to render properties slash description we want to pass a model id with this so model sorry model trigger id i think this is what the name is let me check let's copy this directly just to make things easy in show paste this shared model okay sorry uh, we have to show shared model in that we will use description and in that finally we will show our this d s c r i description underscore model let me check 
let's copy this and paste this so now whenever now we have to set up our description model also so for that i'll just directly copy the reviews model and paste it here underscore d s c r i p t i o n model dot html dot erb and in this let's write description okay and we already have this and we won't have to make any change to our model notice in this entire flow that i have shown you i haven't touched the model and the model controller okay refresh click great i i'm i am happy uh i hope this entire diagram now makes sense that from our button we are connecting it to description model from description model we are sending that click to our uh we are we are clicking on our base model html erb file from that we are going to our model controller and controlling whether we have to show it or hide it and finally we already have the content in our base model so we are just showing it so that's how it is working uh, one simple test for you you can create a share model share controller uh, for this share button and set this up okay if that works that means you have understood this correctly and the power of our code that uh, now whenever we have to create new models we don't have to touch our base model <coughs> or the model controller until and unless we have to modify the code okay uh, so for now this will work in next video we will try to set up the content so now it won't be that hard okay thank you bye bye